everyone, so today I have just a few things to show you. Um, I've only just started out with polymer clay and I really, really wanted to make some strawberry canes. However challenging they were, I still decided to do it. Um, I watched Tony Ellison's video on how to make a strawberry cane and I definitely recommend you go check it out because it made my life so much easier trying to do it. It made so much sense. So I think you should go and look at those. And I just want to show you how they came out. So first I'll just show you all the canes I got from it. I made various sizes because I wanted a variety and I realised, look, I got so much. I got some tiny ones and then I got some huge ones. So I was able to make that from um, her tutorial. However, my red went really thin when I made it so it doesn't really look like as accurate. But um, I'll just show you some of the ones, like what it looks like cut up. So here are the really miniature ones. I don't know if you can see, there, so those are the really tiny ones, and then I did cut up a few big ones just so you could see, like these aren't the biggest ones, but I cut some bigger ones up, and then some more smaller ones, they're not as small as the others, but yeah, and I prefer the smaller ones to the bigger ones to be honest, but I just, I thought that having some big ones would be good. So yeah, this is, uh, you really can't see it, oh well. Um, so those are the canes, and now I've just got like two charms to show you. I already showed you one, which was my macaroon, which I'm really proud of. This is the, you know, it's just the only macaroon I've ever made, but I'm really proud of it. It's got a little chocolate bar on the top, so that's that. And then I made this, which I mentioned in my previous video. But I didn't actually show you because it was still drying. I started glazing it. So this is a dango. It's my dango. And I glazed it with triple thick, which is why it's so shiny. And I just want to eat it. They just I think they're really cute. So I decided to make some for myself. I'll probably use that on a phone or maybe like a necklace or something. That would look really cute. So yeah, that's just a quick update for you guys. I just wanted you to know that I've started with my polymer clay now. Um, and yeah, I figured out whether to bake it beforehand or not, and I baked mine. So as you can see, they're, they're hard, they're not bendy or anything. So. Well, they are kind of bendy. Like, but they won't break if you pulled it. They're not brittle. So yeah, thank you for watching, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye! Bye.